Hey there and invite you back to the dating news of the week. You understand how this passes now. This is the video where, throughout the week, when there's been little blips and blobs of news drifting around, that include information and networking and more, I take all of them and put them into one huge video by themselves and start. We wish to go back to something for recently snooze of the week, the Samsung 990 Pros we spoke about some early release on the PCI SIG pages that were sort of recommending that it was going to be a PCIe Gen 5 SSD. Within the last couple of days, we have seen authorities' releases, statements, and info and information sheets showing up from Samsung that the 990 Pro is undoubtedly a PSPCI for SSD, serving as an upgrade on the existing 980 Pros there and we've done a complete short article. Once again, we've upgraded the old one too, however, loads of details on this brand new SSD whatever breaking down into the private efficiency of the offered capabilities with 1 and 2 terabytes showing up now and in 2023 a 4 terabytes design efficiency criteria. They have consecutive studied to 7450 megabytes per second making it among the fastest, possibly the fastest SSD in the PCIe Gen 4 generation there. What's appealing, is that right, efficiency, 6, 900 megabytes per second making it quicker than the WD Black that was exposed just recently, the SN850X and with the IOPIS, they're reported at 1.2 million and 1.4 million um IOPS, their optimum transfer. And once again, if you look right, IOPIS striking 1.55 million there as well so once again, beautiful numbers all the method through and there is a heatsink and non-heatsink variation offered. I pointed out that the pages are live. There's a journalism release which you've seen a pasted a lot and copied online. It needs to be stated up and there is information there. One thing we still do not understand is one of the controllers on board, because Samsung has much as we do as well, exceptionally deceptive about their controllers, and it is an internal controller. As you can see, some opt for the NAND and there was talk of a prospective 200 layer and, and about a week back, in a report I'm out of us Samsung and us sort of they're taking on a few of the brand names out there. In regards to 9 production there, so I do not understand if this is going to gain from that, however, it should be rather a high layer. 3D TLC and count that's utilizing their Samsung internal 3-bit and um. Once again, what we're seeing in terms of specs is quite great. Unsurprisingly, however, and I state unsurprisingly a minor dowel method, does not include increased sturdiness compared to that of the 980 Pros. It still puts 0.3 drive, compose each day, or 6, 1200 and 400 terabytes, composed um, and once again, it has currently begun noting on their sales. Ah, uh, pages there. You can't buy them yet, there are simply details about them. I can reveal you right now, open it up, if you attempt and purchase them right now. Choose the UK. It has begun being noted in places, it's just merely not offered yet, however it must be coming, soon, and ideally, you'll see an evaluation here on the channel in due course there, however once again do opt for the specific pages to learn more about them and once again the heatsink variation is making the most of a brand new, a sort of player motivated heatsink. If you wish to see this on some PS5 screening do let me understand I probably will, however, it'd be great to understand, however apart from that excellent, we understand what the 990 Pro is. Next up bit of a rubbish one, a number of you I'm sure I've heard about this Plex got hacked and they got hacked huge um. Their databases were penetrated and information was acquired. It wasn't a ransomware attack, however, the information was concluded, somebody acted, and the company made away with rather a great deal of info on users. Now once again they're stating it's up to 15 million users that have been here now. The precise figure has the type of been banded backward and forwards online, with a plex, not validating eventually. The real number, they state, is a subset of users there. When you believe about the scale of plex, the number of users impacted is still going to be quite huge and certainly in the millions whether it does strike as they are recommending that it belonged to at least half of the 30 million users. Just how much Plex is validated on that still requires to be established, however, the info that has been acquired is emails, usernames, and encrypted passwords. Honestly, the worst of the worst. Now a number of you might be believing yeah. They understand I've got Robocop 1, 2, and 3 on my server. Who cares well do not ignore just how much access to your server you have provided Plex, whether it's a gas, a Raspberry Pi, Nvidia Guard, or whatever and the concept that your Plex Media Server account can be from another location accessed. 
It likely implies that the same account can access your server architecture, a minimum of the quantities that Plex has been allowed now. A lot of users online instantly began reporting that because of breaches that they were the ones that uh, weren't able to access their systems. Due to the passwords being altered there, uh, on top of that um, once again, emails were being sent. The user account that we utilize for our Plex videos here on the channel, the throwaway account got info sent out over to us with a Plex stating that we ought to make it possible for confirmation there. Two-step, in addition to making it possible for the password, however, keeps in mind whether you have them allowed or not um. They are still going to send you this email. If it appears like you are among the ones impacted, however once again how real that is, or whether it's been sent out to all users is yet to be validated, however once again they are complete out tight behind this concept of you need to alter your password right away. No responsibility is something to discuss here, however once again it's a little early at the moment to see simply what Plex did wrong and what the entry point for this was. This is still quite bad when it comes down to it, because this is you understand, rather the truth that individuals are struck by this when they are, unlike Netflix or Primeware. The info and the server are over there and if it gets hacked it's they can stop you from accessing, however, you can attempt to utilize your own individual qualifications to validate yourself and get gain access back. This is still discussing your server. Your information and the important things that you have made from another location available all of a sudden have a hole in them. Once again, if you are seeing this and you've not altered your password, I understand it's frustrating. You may have loved ones that are utilizing it and you need to go around there and establish their television and they do not understand how these things work. Modify your password and alter their password. It's worth it. You are still discussing gain access to indicate your date and all the other information that might be on your maker. Next up. We can discuss the somewhat lighter topic of semiconductors and the capacity for things to improve for those that aren't knowledgeable about all of the parts that are ending up being progressively tough to come by in regards to the point of manufacture. Things like we spoke about previously with the Russia-Ukraine dispute and how it's impacted neon uh, production. When it comes to um, semiconductor production has actually to be stated that the East still makes up the lion's share of production of this exceptionally essential element. Uh, in the last week to 10 days, we've seen loads of intriguing news stories talking about huge um, SSD and especially non-production business, as well as simply irregular, now, a semiconductor production, with a lot of financial investment going in right now and brand new websites being opened up there so Samsung will expose, in their 15 billion chip research study center, uh, to kind of upscale a lot of that production they're still in the east. It needs to be stated, however then, on top of that, we have got a lot of things happening with Indian Semiconductor, a semiconductor production increasing in addition to the order signed by President Biden just recently in regards to uh, authorizing a substantial advancement there of a brand new production center there in the U.S. And once again we're seeing increasingly more sort of strengthening and collaboration of huge businesses, the similarity intel that is partnering with other businesses such as this, and financial investment entering into prevalent semiconduction throughout the world. All the way and once again, brand new legislation and more laws are being gone through to make it possible for us the production of particular amount of these uh, basic materials that are utilized in a semiconductor production worldwide being made a lot and a lot of offer easier in the hopes that this chart will not look so bad in two years and once again, uh, there was one that stood apart among the others which to do with Intel, uh, starting their brand new Ohio website production center, uh, for semi-production, a uh, summary conductor, production mail that is tough to state up, while at the same time their stock has been taken an outright kicking just recently due to the similarity hardware lacks and, naturally, a uh, trade wars and conflicts worldwide there. Still, ideally in a couple of years, some of this will begin bearing fruit, and so lots of item conductors will ideally see a little bit more accessibility however once again figures are crossed. Who understands lastly? Let's speak about several little brand new releases, storage bits that showed up throughout the week. The very first one is this from the SanDisk variety. Uh. For those that aren't conscious the G drive uh, has an enterprise class design there and it's now begun rolling in with their 22 TB drives. The smart money would recommend that it is an H. Um, C drive. That's in there the information cluster information center class drive is going to be inside that is part of the Ultrastar series and once again offered in approximately 22 terabytes. It's a USB 3.2 Gen 2 drive. Once again, even though that's terrific to hear bear in mind as it is a tough drive, this drive maxes out at around 250 up to 280 megabytes per second efficiency there. 
Although you do have that connection over USB-C, that is going to permit us a remarkable quantity of available bandwidth. Bear in mind that this drive, and especially the difficult drive within is not going to go beyond that number there, and once again, it's offered to purchase. Now, with the 2 terabytes being 643 a pounds presently in the UK, I will state that those of you who are taking a look at this and thinking about shucking out the drive unless some 22 TB drives remain in deficiency. Ah, uh, you're not going to make much cash since 22 dB, especially if it is an ultra star inside that's about the going rate. Not going to make anything from shucking that at least up by a drive and is 649 if you do not consist of the external chassis or. Once again, it's not readily available to purchase anywhere at the minute, uh, and bring on the topic of brand new items. We can talk a bit about the side we're seeing more PCIe Gen 5 SSD start to be discussed. Two that stuck out today are the Aurora's 10,000 or the 10K, which is a 10,000 megabytes per second read and compose speed, SSD, uh, that's getting here from Gigabyte there so think of their previous generation and once again affordable sufficient drive there. We have seen some Gen 5 SSD fractures 12 and 13 gigabytes. Once again, this appears a little bit behind that, however, perhaps this is going to be there early. Release do remain tuned, for ideally, October is when we're going to begin evaluating. Gen 5 SSD here on an S, compares along with going back to an SSD that we've discussed the channel before the Echo Gen 5 from FADU when we initially discussed it, which was back in. Let's take a look there. That was back in November of 2021. We initially spoke about this drive, I'm back on that video. We yapped about it being extremely highlyers. They've discussed what it might do with very little raving capabilities, and now we're seeing method more info get here with it with a complete information sheet. Speaking about the offered capabilities on the 22 um, 22, 8 absolutely no length, SSD, and more, in addition to a few of those efficiency levels with consecutive read, being reported at 14600 there and the IOPIS they're doing a remarkable task also unquestioningly at 2.5 million. Once again, excellent capabilities, excellent sizes, depending on certainly the format you go for, it's not simply M2 however of course me. SSDS are the ones that were concentrated on for this video and there's a terrific article here on files and blocks where they enter into a lot more information about the heatsink enabled variation, in addition to a few of the other variations of father's brand new Echo SSD. I advise you to examine that out, however, this has been the much better news of the week. I've enjoyed it here in the UK. It is a three-day bank holiday weekend to put the sausages on the barbecue and delight in, however otherwise remain tuned for next week, we'll be trying to find a lot more. This looks a bit downplayed, however, this is the NAP TS 453E, an extremely appealing one now, so it's gone knobby a long evaluation. I'll alert you, however, believe me. This does deserve your attention since it is altering what NAP's portfolio is going to be, and especially in regards to desktop 4 bays with this system here altering what you anticipate at that cost point of that 500 approximately dollars mark, and I'm eagerly anticipating sharing that with you, it's not best and the important things that irritate me frustrate me, however, there aren't much of them however do remain tuned for that evaluation, however otherwise, thank you a lot for. Enjoying have an excellent weekend and I'll see you next time. We desire to return to something from last week's news of the week, the Samsung 990 Pros we talked about some early release on the PCI SIG pages that were sort of recommending that it was going to be a PCIe Gen 5 SSD. Uh, in the last week to 10 days, we've seen loads of intriguing news stories talking about huge um SSD and especially non-production business, as well as simply irregular, now, a semiconductor production, with a lot of financial investment going in right now and brand new websites being opened up there so Samsung will expose, in their 15 billion chip research study center, uh, to kind of upscale a lot of that production they're still in the east. Although you do have that connection over USB-C, that is going to permit us a significant quantity of available bandwidth. Bear in mind that this drive and that especially the difficult drive within is not going to surpass that number there and once again, it's offered to purchase. Uh, you're not going to make much cash because 22 dB, especially if it is an ultra star inside that's about the going rate. They've talked about what it might do and not much going on about capabilities, however, now we're seeing method more info get here with it with a complete information sheet.